students before were uh, spectators. <laughs> now they're participants. That's the ticket. Their life is filled with technology. And when they leave the classroom, it's even more technology. So if we don't use technology to teach them, we're going to lose them. I teach fourth grade at North Ward Elementary in Tuscola, Illinois. And in addition to being a full-time classroom teacher, I am a partner with my mom in a company that does technology educational consulting. Our company is basically teaching teachers how to integrate technology into their curriculum. We do smart board training uh, or interactive whiteboard uh, in case they don't have a smart board, but we also do uh, clicker training, student response systems, just general technology integration, how to liven up instruction with video and multimedia, how to alternatively assess students using digital media and having them do different cut types of projects, and also how to differentiate instruction so that you're meeting all of the needs of the different uh, learning styles through technology. And also, we tell them if, if you do these things and you're putting together a lesson using technology, that you're excited about teaching it. When you're excited about teaching it, the kids are going to be far more excited about learning the information. The next one we want to show you is the site wool from Alpha. You can put in any information in there and be able to get the information you need. I have taught my kids now to go there for any homework help. So they can use it as an atlas. They can use it as a thesaurus. They can use it to learn spelling patterns. Any subject. You can type in any date in history and give you the information that you need for social studies class. All the money being spent on graphing calculators shouldn't be. All you have to do is enter any math formula and it does it. And it shows you the steps. You can also do any latitude longitude. So the kids are studying latitude longitude. Put it in there. It tells you exactly where the latitude and longitude go to. It's nutritional information, BMIs. If your nurse is wanting to check BMIs, she can type in uh, age of the student, weight of the student, height of the student, and it gives the total physical rundown of everything about that student, of where they should be, if they're overweight, underweight, in their general area, how much weight they need to lose. So your school nurse can even use it. Nutritional information for an apple, because we know it doesn't come on the side of an apple, and they need to be able to analyze nutritional data in their classes. Today when we presented Wolfram Alpha, the reaction was phenomenal. Uh, the teachers were very excited. Lots of oohs and ahs, lots of clapping, lots of laughter. Uh, being able to show them that you can use it for a spelling tool or to look up a word for vocabulary instead of leafing through the paper print dictionary. They are amazed at the time that it will save them. They're amazed at the usefulness in their classroom and they are excited to show their kids how to use it. And there were some teachers who were sitting around me and I heard several comments like this could replace all of my dictionaries or this could replace eventually textbooks in our classroom. They can get the data, they can get the information and the knowledge right off the internet from this side. So it can be a source of information, it can be a, a way to check work, to reinforce what they've learned and actually that's how I've used it several times within my own classroom setting. Uh, they've done the work, then they've gone to Wolfram Alpha to, to look and see what the answers were and mm -hmm. get some excited. And imme that's immediate feedback. Mm -hmm. The immediate feedback is so important. If you have to wait two days to grade a set of papers and give it back to them, half the time they have forgotten what mm -hmm. they've even done. Mm -hmm. And so they can't apply the mistakes they've made. And sometimes they don't even look at the check. They see the check mark, it's wrong, they move on. They don't look to see what they've done incorrectly, but having that immediate oh, I was wrong, see if I can figure out why I was wrong. We know that if they involve themselves that they're going to remember it. I mean, it's from that thing, show me how, have me do it, and I'll remember it, I'll learn it. And with technology, they're, they're willing participants. It's a fabulous tool to be able to integrate into every curricular area, and we think it has a ton of potential in classrooms to help students become better learners. It's great to hear kids say, this is awesome, this is cool. What well, el yeah, what you're else? teaching them prime factorization and exactly. you show them wool from alpha and they go, awesome! Oh, okay. <laughs> and and they have to fill in the side, is that a composite or a prime number? And uh, quickly review what that is. This is so cool. Yeah, that works. Uh-huh.